I was thinking over the t after reading the book, all the times I've interviewing you, interviewed you, and the conversations we've had about Bob Ray. Then I read this book, and I was like, I thought, oh my goodness. Michael basically just said in this book that your, your friendship was broken from the moment you told him you wanted to do this and to come back and run, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Publicly, you put on a nice face, but you guys weren't pals anymore. And it, even to the point, there's a point in the book, we'll tell the story but at, the, at the convention. Tell that story. Well, let's put this in context because it's all over now. It's like history. Bob and I have been, have been friends since we were kids. Our parents were friends. So it's a very personal thing. Yeah. Um, and the other thing to say is that, yes, your account of this is true. I think our friendship took a hit because it's simple. He wanted something. I wanted the same thing. We competed for it. Uh, and those kind of things have an impact on a friendship. But let's also keep the context right here because the context is important. He's one of the smartest guys I've ever met. Mm -hmm. He has some of the best values of anybody I've ever met. He did, he was when, I was, when I was the boss, when I was the leader and he was serving in my party, he served with loyalty, right? I can't accuse the guy of betrayal or treachery or any of that, right. not true. Um, but when he wanted what he wanted and I wanted it, his brother fought for him and that's where we get to the story. And, you know, I, I can still see John, Bob's brother's face on that convention floor in 2006, barring my way as I walked forward to go over to the Ray camp and see whether they come over. He didn't want me to take another <laughs> step forward. Why, didn't why, he put why, his why? hand up and yeah. kind of... Yeah, yeah. But the, the point here is this is very human. This is politics in all its raw passion and emotion. And I understand John is very loyal to his brother. John loves his brother. John wants his brother to succeed. He wants me to fail. What's more human than that? But in the account... And, and that's politics. When, when you told Bob that you wanted to come over, I suspect you expected him to be more supportive than he was. Because <laughs> he was not. Well, but again, it's perfectly natural. Bob had been the premier of the province of Ontario. It hadn't ended really very well for him. Yeah. Uh, what I had not understood is that he wanted to move parties and join the Liberal Party and fight for the Liberal Party. I didn't anticipate that he was going to compete for the same job as I did. It all seems very human and natural now. And, and he's a, you know, the thing that's a little sad about this story is if you stand back from it and forget about all this Liberal arguing, the fact of the matter is that Bob Ray would have made a fantastic foreign minister for our country, mm -hmm. and I can also say a pretty darn good prime minister, right? So that's what needs to be remembered here.